Neuroplasticity with a soccer ball. As you can see, it does not have to be a new ball. This one is well worn. What you're going to do is start with holding the ball with both hands and bringing up your leg and tapping that ball with your thigh. You can switch legs after a while when you're comfortable alternating. Then when you feel like you're bringing your leg up high enough, you can drop the ball. You can add some movement coming forwards and going back. Even bringing that leg nice and high and dropping the ball and catching it with both hands. Now I want you to use one hand and put that ball right back in action. See if you can move as well. Switching up the hands here. You've got that ball hitting your thigh, you've got that down, and now you want to juggle, which is really hard to do. A lot of methods, a lot of advice out there, the best way to do it. It really is what works best for you. Uh, a few things that I can tell you, don't point your toe. You do want the ball to hit your laces. Some people like holding their arms out. And each time catching it, then when they feel like they've, you know, have a bit of confidence, they think they can hit it twice. Right? Bouncing the ball. Right? Have a play. Give it a few minutes a day. Have fun with it. Don't let it frustrate you. You know, if it frustrates you, it's not much fun. Just give it a few minutes a day. You will start to make some progress on that. When you're ready, move to your non-dominant leg. I have a couple suggestions for this next one. A lot of times you see people start the juggling by having the ball on the ground. If you have a grandchild that plays soccer, that plays football, they may be able to give you some good advice on this one, on how they start it off. But you do need to put your foot on top of the ball, so definitely a little bit of balance going on here. You're rolling that ball then towards yourself. Then with that same foot, you have to get it on the ground underneath the ball in order to be able to lift it. When you watch people do it, it seems super simple, but if you've never done it before, it does take a lot of practice to try to find just the right amount of weight to kind of put on that ball, how much then pressure to, to bring it back to yourself and then to get your foot underneath. Uh, if you're uncomfortable doing that, because there is that possibility, right, of you applying a bit too much pressure here on that ball and slipping and maybe falling. That is one of the reasons why in class I do have a collapsible ball when we do dribbling, right? If you put too much pressure, that ball just collapses. If you're uncomfortable trying that, then you're working on dropping the ball still, right? And maybe doing a knee to foot. Now we're putting this all together. So someone who does a lot of juggling would say, you can never use your hands. I say, why not? It keeps the ball in play for longer and it's good hand-eye coordination. If you prefer to drop the ball, right? You're continuing to do that. I did use, I did open up, um, if you saw, and I hit by the side of my foot, right? That's always something as well. If it feels um, like you can't hit with your laces, you kind of open up and hit with the inside. Um, or you are starting, you're juggling with the ball on the ground. And doing it that way.